Dale Dickert's chauffeur to go to the next place for the past three years. <laughs> I'm Mary Helen Wheeler, and I've been working with these folks for three years, too, with the varying groups. Uh, I live in Gainesville, but I'm also a candidate for State House T District 21. Your representative. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jim Tatum. I'm from our Santa Fe River in Fort White, and I live right on the riverbank. I love Santa Fe, and I want to do everything I can to take it to Swanee and our aquifer, and um, that's about it. Thank you. It's a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> I'm Mary Louise Hester. I'm a regional director for Senator Bill Nelson, and I'm just here to uh, find out what I can and share with him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where are you based, Tallahassee. Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. Judson Hester. Mary Louise Hester. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Maggie. Maggie McDonald, and we live on the south of here on the Swanee. We're concerned about the pipeline and also we're members of the Swanee chapter of the Florida Trail Association. Marilee Melowitz Gibson, I'm policy director for our Santa Fe River, which is a citizen based group, nonprofit. I'm also a uh, eco tourism business owner that uses the Santa Fe River for our livelihood and for our customers. And I also live on the Santa Fe River and uh, I'm a member of Walls. I've been working with a number of uh, citizens across the state of Florida to stop fracking, and we've been very successful, and we hope to have a ban on fracking this legislative year. And I'm also uh, one of the people, along with John and the Miracles and Deborah and many others in this group and, and these folks here that come often, um, who have been trying very hard to stop this pipeline because of the damage that we know will happen when it, uh, if it gets its way, and uh, once we go on this walk, you all are going to see the things that we saw in the paperwork <coughs> regarding their omissions and their uh, um, blatant disregard for our environment in, in the paperwork of the EIS, the Environmental Impact Study. So I'm glad everybody's here. Thank you. My name's Norm McDonald, um, resident of Swanee County, landowner, 10 acres. Uh, Maggie and I live uh, just south of Charles Springs, which was the first federally funded project to cross the Swanee River, known as the Bellamy Road. Um, lots has happened since then, and um, I'm learning tons every day about what's happening in this area. I did want to share with you this issue about growth. Went to a big meeting in uh, High Springs. Dr. Robert Knight was there. He stood up in front of everybody and talked about all the scientific stuff that's going on about the degradation of water, the, the, um, all the adverse things that are happening with water. And then in the bottom line, and this was supposed to be the best news that's happening for the Suwannee River. The bottom line, he looked out at this whole group of all these river organizations and said, if today we enforce every rule and regulation that's on the books already for water, crossed every T, dotted every I, and then on top of it, in, employed, invoked everything about that we want to happen with water, would it make any difference? Looked up at the group and he said, not much. Big gasp, <laughs> big gasp in the group. Not much until you deal with the issue of growth. Mm -hmm. Growth is the driving force and all the other management issues that we try to do won't stop it until we deal with growth head on. Mm -hmm. I agree. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Good one. Okay. Uh, I'm Eileen Box. Um, I'm a local landowner. I've lived here for 47 years, and I'm a very concerned citizen. I actually have a pipeline already going through my property, and I have a wetlands on my property. My, my pipeline is well over 20 years old, so I'm already concerned about its condition and its maintenance. Mm -hmm. So this is just adding layer upon layer of those kinds of things. So I'm definitely interested and involved. I'm Janet Farrow, and I'm a private citizen living in the Dunnellan area, Marion County. My husband manages a cattle ranch down there, and we've been there for over 30 years. I have the benefit of having lived on the land and seen the park and the wildlife. And now um, Sable Trail wants to come through about six or seven miles of it including sand hills, sinkhole areas, wetlands, and then they'll cross the Wipanakuchi River. Um, I've also had the benefit of knowing how the review process goes in the field, and I've 
been speaking out several times to FERC and other agencies, and I am very disillusioned with the government review and permitting process. Um, and I have been in touch with your office and Bill Nelson's office, and I want to have appointments. Um, and I think as I can follow through on that, and you all can follow through on that, we will accomplish that. I've also tried to talk to DEP. They couldn't talk to me about the cars, the differences that I see in the cars in Marion County, and what was reported in the final environmental impact statement. They couldn't talk to me because there was a lawsuit going on, and so even though that lawsuit's closed, but they, their geologists couldn't talk to me. I'm upset. I'm going to shut up. But I'm glad that this is going on and we have this chance for a forum and to see what's going on here in Swanee area because it's going on in Marion County too. Uh, I'm Lori McCraney. I'm a longtime local resident. I live on the river just a few miles upstream from here. I've been, I've spent hundreds, maybe thousands of hours on this river and in this park particularly. Um, over the decades. I'm very protective of it. I joined walls to help protect the local environment. And I'm also very concerned on more of a global level what I see going on with uh, energy companies. I see the fossil fuel industry in rapid decline with their rising prices and a variety of factors. And I also see a rapidly rising solar industry that is making technological process progress by leaps and bounds every day and I think it is a huge mistake for us as a people to uh, employ this rapid build out of the fossil fuel infrastructure when 30 years from now it will be, become more and more irrelevant as time goes on. So I'd like to see a, a really um, ground shift to renewable energy because you know, I also see that this planet cannot take increased carbon emissions for decades to come. We're already at a breaking point, so I'm trying to act locally to affect a global problem as well as protecting the environment. I'm Beth Perm. I'm a Hamilton County Commissioner for District 1. So the pipeline would go under the Withlacoochee River while it's still up in Georgia but then it would come right down through my district because mine is right up on the Georgia line. So it would come down through mine, one more in Hamilton County before it continued. So obviously we're very concerned. I did want to share the Hamilton County Board of County Commissioners had written a letter of concern to the Army Corps of Engineers that is like the one that Commissioner Fleming had read to you earlier. And I did want to share this with you. It's signed by Randy Auburn our chairman for the Hamilton County Board of County Commissioners. This is my first time being with you. I've heard Chris and others who've visited us pretty often, but I'm looking forward to what we'll see and talk about today. Thank you for inviting me. I'd like to point out that uh, Hamilton County has been the first to have a first to write that letter. They're, they're very concerned and I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, David. I'm uh, David Shields, live in uh, Swanee County, moved here with my family from Jacksonville. We're uh, moved here to be a little bit more sustainable and do organic farming, uh, which is what we do. We're unfortunately perhaps going to be neighbors to a, a pine bomb, or what they call it, a compressor station built by Swanee County, or by uh, and so we're obviously here in opposition to that. We, we have quite a few children, and being a quarter mile away or something like that is not exactly something that we'd like to do, so, or anybody. Right. That's why I'm here. Like okay. it. Yeah. Right, my name is Dennis Price. I'm a geologist. I've moved to this area right out of college in 1974. I went to work at a phosphate mine. I can like mining to get an understanding of just below your feet. And, I've never, uh, I make my living off of industry. I'm not opposed to industry coming into this area. Uh, but my whole life has been spent out in these woods. My son's been raised in these woods. And I still use these woods. And I like them. And I don't want to see them just disappear slowly. You know, they need to stay and we need to be careful of what we do. And this is John Clement. 